It's been a while since I last recorded one of these screencasts, but given how many support requests we've been getting the past few days regarding how to access and how to use your license key, I figured now is as good a time as any to bust out the microphone and give it another go. So that's what I'm going to be doing for the next few minutes here, focusing on three specific items. One, how to access and use your license key. Two, how to disconnect your license key from any site to which it may be tied. And three, how to re-download the plugin should you ever need a fresh or otherwise unedited install of it. All of them are going to be done here at the Tribe site, so this is where we're going to be spending the next few minutes. Now remember that when you bought the Pro plugin, you were required to set up a set of credentials for this site. They're mostly used for accessing the support forums, but in this case, we're going to use them to get the license key. So click the login link in the upper right hand corner, enter your username, and enter your password. If for some reason you don't remember those, as with any WordPress site, there is this lost password link. But I remember mine, so I'm going to hit login. When the page refreshes, you'll see that in the upper right, there's now this account central option with four items beneath it. Profile, where you can see and change your tribe profile. Downloads, which we'll come back to in a bit. License keys, which is what we're going to talk about in just a second. And order history, which gives a full history of all the pro products that you've purchased here on the site. We're going to click license keys. And what we're going to see are any license keys that we've purchased, as well as some details about those. I have two here. Neither of them are used on any sites, so that's why we don't have anything in the site URL or registration field. I have the expiration date, and I have the full-on code. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this whole code, and I'm going to go over to the back end of my site, into settings, the events calendar, and there's going to be a field right at the top, assuming that I have pro active, where I'm going to drop this in. I'm going to tab out of it so that it validates against the server. And once I see this green message saying valid key with the expiration date, I know I'm set. All I need to do is come down to the bottom and hit the save changes option. Now when I go back over to the tribe site and refresh, you'll notice that the first of those license keys shows up as being in use. This gets to the second item on my list from the beginning. How do I disconnect my license key from any site to which it's tied? Well, you're going to do the same thing that we did earlier. You're going to log in, come to Account Central, come to License Keys, and you're going to find the key that is tied to the website in question. Here, we have this first key that we just plugged in. It's tied to robligata.com, and I have the option to unregister it if I wish to. I'm going to do that. I'm going to hit this link. It's going to ask me if I'm sure I want to do this. I know that I'm sure I want to do it. And I'm going to hit OK, and when the page refreshes, We'll be back to square one where we started. I have the code, I have the expiration date, but I know that it's available for use because I have these two fields empty. Now the last item I wanted to cover here is the downloads. How do I download the plugin, make sure that I want to use a fresh one that nobody else has touched and that I haven't modified, whatever. We've had a few developers come back and say, hey, I mangled this so badly that I just need to start from scratch, but I forgot to save the original release. Can you help me or do I need to buy another one? Of course you don't have to buy another one, you can just come to the Account Central Downloads link, and you'll see all the products that you have available. The one that we want, Events Calendar Pro version 2.02, .02, is available by hitting this link. Downloads the plugin straight to my desktop, and I have a fresh, unaltered install to work with. That pretty much covers everything you're going to need to know on the license key front. I have a supplemental article that I'll link to in the body of this video, but otherwise, you should be set. If you have any other questions, as always, feel free to post them on the forum, shoot them to pro at tri.be, or just let us know that you're having problems and we will be happy to help you out. Thanks a lot. Have a happy holiday.